The Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Remita, Deremi Amanda, says about 34.311 trillion Naira revenue was generated by Remita platform into the Federation account between 2015 and 2022. He disclosed this during the investigative hearing on alleged revenue leakages through Remita platform and non-compliance substantively with standard operating procedure and other allied service agreements held at the instance of the House Committee on Public Accounts chaired by Honorable Bami Dele Salam. While dismissing insinuations that Remita imposed additional fees apart from the approved 150 Naira, which represents 10% at current exchange rate, on the revenue generating MDAs, Mr. Tanda disclosed that the Remita Payment Gateway Platform provides additional technology services to the Federation at no cost, despite paying in foreign exchange for hosting the platform on cloud based platform. While ruling, Chairman House Committee on Public Accounts, Honorable Bami Dele Salam, underscored the need for physical appearance of the Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, CBN Governor, and Accountant General of the Federation before the committee on Tuesday, 20th of February, 2024. Having been in the picture for this number of years, we think that there can be increased public sensitization and enlightenment in respect of revenue collections so that citizens are not misled to pay government revenues into accounts that may not belong to government. We think it will also be helpful for citizens to be informed about the channels of convenience, which includes agents everywhere to make payments to government. We also believe that in the face of the revenue challenges our country is going through, it may be time for the Forex collection component of TSA to be activated because government does not just end in Naira. For the past eight, nine years that TSA has been in operation, the focus has been mainly to fine tune processes around Naira collections. Question on whether anything could have been done to ensure that the earnings of government through your own platform increases more than this, other than, other than increase in the fees payable, because uh, you may want to go there and say we should increase the, we don't want to put more burdens on Nigerians, but we want to know if there are other kinds of interventions you think should have been put in place. And then, please, I want to ask, the, the term revenue leakage, is there any probability of leakage of revenue through your payment gateway? Is there any percentage of probability of revenue leakage? And let me, let me contextualize it. Is it possible that um, an agency that is supposed to charge 1,000 Naira for a service gives the payer a lower charge to come and pay? Does Remita have a way of recognizing that, no, if you are paying for maybe uh, a particular service with the FCT, uh, you're supposed to pay 25,000 Naira, and then an official there says, oh, go and pay 19,000 Naira. Is there anything on the platform that prevents this kind of uh, underhand dealing? I haven't been in the big... Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.